All right, welcome back to The Hill. The House Oversight uh, Committee Chairman James Comer says that he will pursue contempt charges against the head of the FBI now that the Bureau is refusing to turn over a subpoena document. The form in question is used by the FBI to record unverified information from a confidential source. Comer alleges the form could show that Joe Biden engaged in a criminal bribery scheme with a foreign national while he was the vice president. Now, the White House strongly denies those allegations. The FBI says it is cooperating in good faith. And Comer, the congressman, spoke this afternoon with the head of the FBI, Christopher Wray. Congressman Comer uh, joins us live. Congressman, thank you for joining us. T tell us, take us inside that phone call. What was it like when you got on the phone with the head well, of the FBI? What did you tell him and what did he say? Well, Senator Grassley was on the call with me as well. We were in the same room, so uh, it was a joint call. Uh, but uh, basically, we expressed our displeasure uh, with Director Ray that uh, we requested this document, which is unclassified, uh, almost 40 days ago, and we've received nothing but the runaround, uh, and that uh, he hadn't even admitted that the document existed. By the end of the phone call, the director did, to his credit, admit that the document existed, which is good because that's what the whistleblower alleges. Uh, the reason that I'm concerned about this document is because, number one, this fits a pattern that we've already uh, disclosed to the American people with what happened in Romania, where when Joe Biden was vice president, less than two weeks after he left Romania, talking about foreign policy and foreign aid, uh, his family from foreign Romania uh, to shell accounts, which were then filtered down to Biden family bank accounts. Uh, this allegation was made uh, at a time when Joe Biden was, was uh, in this particular country. And I'm not talking about Romania, I'm talking about a new country. And uh, it's very consistent with what we found in Romania. So what we're concerned with is the fact that we don't believe the FBI even knew that this allegation existed because they get a lot of Form 1023s. And what we're Are they going to give you the, the document? IRS Are they going to give it to you? Did, did Christopher Ray? Did, did Christopher well, he, Ray give he, you the, the impression that he was going to give it to you? He wouldn't. He, he implied that he was not going to give it to us, that we could come look at a redacted version. And I told Director Ray that I would be happy to do that. But we were still going to hold him in contempt of Congress unless he produced the document, because this document is, is critical to our investigation. And again, this fits a pattern that we've already discovered in other countries where when Joe Biden was vice president, so you were, his so you family were still started threatening. receiving payments soon after a visit. So if I hear you right, Congressman, you mm -hmm. are still threatening to hold the head of the FBI, the FBI director, Christopher Wray, in contempt. Um, I was reading through the penal code. There could be a fine for the FBI director. You could even potentially, according to the penal code, throw him in jail for 12 months. Do you want to throw the FBI director in jail? Mm -hmm. If he doesn't comply with a congressional subpoena. Look, there are a lot of people in this building right now that believe that we have several government bureaucracies that are out of control. The way this system was designed is there's supposed to be check and balances. And the House Oversight Committee is supposed to have congressional oversight over uh, every federal government agency. Uh, but what we have you... with the FBI is instance after instance where they turn, turn their nose up at congressional inquiries. This is not a classified document. This isn't something that should be very difficult to produce. And I've already produced more than enough evidence to show that this document could potentially be true. This allegation could potentially be true because something happened in Romania, something happened in China, something happened in at least two other countries where when Joe Biden left there as vice president, his family started getting money uh, to shell companies they created that were then laundered down to their personal and, bank accounts. And, I mean, and this, these is are, very, and, this is the most serious accusation that's ever been leveled. And, and, and I'm, I'm glad I'm to use the word accusation because at this point in time, they are accusations. The White House has pushed back on it. But I find it interesting um, and, and some they might even go beyond that, Congressman, they, they, to, to hear you say that, um, you know, you would endorse putting the FBI director in jail over this. 
if he doesn't comply with a congressional subpoena? Absolutely. Look, we've produced evidence that shows there's a pattern here. You, you say this is an allegation, and it is, but it's not an allegation that his family created shell companies and wired money from foreign nationals to the shell companies and then laundered them down to the family's personal bank accounts. I've already proven that. I don't know how many in the, in the media covered that, but uh, the, the White House has never explained how the president's granddaughter got a payment from Romania, how, how nine of the president's family members received payments from China and Romania. I mean, how did that happen? Th there's no explanation for it. So I want to get the White House's here that would I want to get the White House's that this is possible. Uh, the White House has has said the following about this. Quote, extreme MAGA Republicans in the House, led by the Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer and his committee, have been aggressively pursuing politically motivated stunts, thinly veiled as, quote, investigations. You Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.